Hi all, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to discuss a lead code problem. Uh, this is a lead code hard problem. They have three categories, basically easy, medium, hard. So I have taken one of the hard problem and we will discuss it today. Okay, so we will spend around two minutes to understand the problem and then we will jump on to the solution. Also, before we start, I will uh, uh, I have put the create and insert scripts in the description box. You can directly run those and start solving the problem before seeing my solution. Okay, so here's the problem. So here's a cab company and they have we have data of the trips. So what all trips were there? Okay, so this is my first table, trips table and second is my users table. So one first is trips table, second is users table. So in the trip table, I have the trip detail that this is the first trip and who, what client ID, what is this customer ID, driver ID, city, status, status can be three status, it can be completed it can be cancelled by driver. It can be cancelled by client also. So we have different kind of cancellation status, two kinds of basically. And requested, this is the date on which this trip was done. Okay. Now if you see, we have this users table. This users table is different to both the columns. So client ID, for client ID also we have users information in this table. If you see one, two, three, four. And the role is client. Okay. Similarly for driver, we have 10, 11, 12, 13 and we have the data for driver also and here it is telling the driver or client is banned or not so if it is banned it means that person is banned okay so this is our data and now let's see what they want so we will read the problem statement so problem is write a sql query to find the cancellation rate of request with unbanned users both client and driver must not be banned so basically we need to check First, that the customer or driver should not be banned. How we will check? We will join client ID with user ID and get the banned status. Similarly, for driver, we will join driver ID with user again this table and get the banned status. And we will take only where banned is no, right? This is first thing. Okay. So for each day, we have to calculate the cancellation rate between 1st to 3rd October, right? So we have 1st to 3rd October data, okay? And what is cancellation rate? Cancellation rate is computed by dividing the number of cancelled requests with unbanned users divided by total number of requests with the unbanned users. So basically, we have to check all the writes which are done by unbanned users and then we have to check how many are cancelled divided by total number of trips, right? So I, I hope question is clear. If not clear, please watch the video again and then check the solution or try out first. So we will move on to the solution. So this is my data. So for first of all, what I have to do, I have to get, get rid of band user. So I will use trips table for this. Select star from trips. I will giving table alias T and inner join users. I will alias it as C and i will join on so first i am joining client id so i will say t dot client underscore id equal to users dot sorry c dot i alias is it at c right so c dot users id okay i hope this is clear let me run this so if you see i got the client details if client is banned or not right so if you see, if I again run this from users. So user two is banned. So all the rights which are done by customer two, we got the data that those are by banned customer. This and this, there are three. Okay. Similarly, I have to get for driver also. So I will again use this table. I will alias it as D and then instead of client id i need for driver id so driver underscore id and this is d driver table so i will just use d okay so we get the this so there is no driver band but we have to write a solution like that if there is a, a band driver that should also be filtered out so in this case nothing is banned we are getting all no but that is fine we will handle all the scenarios okay now i have to filter this out so i will say where c dot band so this is 
client band, right? Band should be no. I need only those records. And for driver also, D dot band should be equal to no. So out of 10, there are 10 trips. Out of these, I see only three where band is yes, right? So if I then this, we should have seven records and we have the seven records, right? So we have got rid of the band client or driver. Now out of these, if you see, they are total seven, three on the first, two on the second and two on the third. We have to calculate cancel percentage. Cancel percentage is number of cancel right divided by total right. So if you see for the 1st of October, there is one cancel right and total three right. So it will be one by three, 33%. For the second, both are completed. So it should be zero cancellation rate because nothing was cancelled. And for the third, one is cancelled, one is complete. So one is cancelled, one divided by total two. So it will be 50%. So how now we will calculate it, right? So what I need? I need data at at the trip date level. I need cancellation percent as at the request at level. So I need request at in the output, right? So I will say request let's go right right now what i need, another thing is i need cancelled so i will use case statement case when status equal to or in because there are two statuses possible it can be cancelled by driver or cancelled by client or cancel by driver, right? Okay. So if status in this, then I will count it. Else null. Otherwise, I will not count it. So null will not be counted. And right. Similarly, this count one. If I at uh, at request at if I ag aggregating at request at, I can just say count one. It will give me total rights. Total underscore rights. Right, total trips are, and here I will do guru by request add. Now, this is a aggregated function, this is in group by, so this also should be aggregated because anything which is not in group by should be aggregated. So, here I got this the number one, one or null as per the cancellation. So, I will do a count of this. as cancelled trip count right if i run this so i got on the first we saw there was one cancel and total three trips on second zero cancel and two trips on the third we got this and we just have to divide it and get the percentage so I will just copy paste it and here I will just divide it sorry divide okay as cancelled percent this will give me cancel percent right so if you see everything is zero 1 divided by 3 is coming 0 because what happens in SQL if you divide integer by integer you get the nearest integer so 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.3 so it is giving you 0 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 it is again giving 0 because integer divided by integer will return integer so what I will do I will make first column as decimal so I can just simply uh, multiply it by a decimal number 1.0 and it will become decimal also to get the percentage, I will multiply it by 100. Okay. So we got the percentage now 33%, it is 0%, and it is 50%. So I hope it is clear. A lot of things to learn in this query. You learned, you joined with the same table multiple times, how to use filters, and then you learned how to use case when statement, and on top of that, how to put aggregation. I hope it is useful. Please do hit the like button if you like the if you like the explanation and do try yourself uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe button also thank you see you again